With the version 2010.2 release of DXperience, we've introduced a new project wizard to help you get started building C-sharp based applications that use DevExpress WinForms controls. Here's how it works. We start by creating a new project. And we select the WinForms Extra Project Wizard as the template for that project. Let's name the project to something meaningful. The template runs, displaying this customization dialog. The first thing we have to do is to select what kind of form container we want for our particular project. We've got extra form, a ribbon form, or just an ordinary .NET form. For this project, we'll select the ribbon form. Now, if you look over here, there are three main areas to a form. We have the command area, the navigation area, and finally, finally the client area. We'll specify each of these areas separately. First of all, let's specify the command area. Because we're creating a ribbon form, the obvious command area is still the ribbon. But notice we have either the traditional toolbars and menus, or nothing at all as alternatives. Next, we'll select what kind of navigation area we, we want. There is a navigation bar demonstrated by these two options here, a kind of tree list look to the navigation area, or nothing at all. For us, we're going to go for a navigation bar. Um, instead of using the Windows Explorer view, we're going to use a traditional Microsoft Office Outlook navigation pane. Finally, for the client area, we have several options. We have a grid control. And as you see, you can either choose a tabular view or a layout view, a card view. Uh, or there's a chart control, pivot chart, um, pivot grid, I should say, uh, with the pivot chart, a layout manager where you're actually going to lay out the form yourself, a rich edit control, you're a, presumably writing some kind of word processor, scheduler control, either by date, bars, uh, or the ribbon look. or a gallery control. We'll just go for a simple tabular grid control at this point. Of course, what would an application be without the ability to skin it? Now, those of you who've tried to write the skinning code, it can take a little while to get it all set up. But with this customization form, it's a cinch. You select the skin on the application node here. So we'll just choose an office green. And then we can create the project. The template will build a skeleton for the application by setting up various references to DevExpress assemblies. And it will create the standard looking form based upon our choices. And there we are. Let's just run the application as it stands at the moment. bring it in. So as you see, we specified a ribbon. Uh, notice we already have things like new open close, save, save as, some formatting options here. And notice we also have a full skin chooser gallery to choose our skins, although we're defaulting to Office 2007 green. And that's it. The WinForms Project Wizard for C-Sharp in DXperience version 2010.2.